Hi, I'm Dan Charnies for Ben'sProducts.com. Today I'm going to be changing the oil on this 190D behind me. Uh, it's basically a pretty simple procedure. Right over here is our oil filter. We don't have to go under the car to mess with the oil filter. That's the nice thing about this uh, Ben's design. We're going to take the cover off the oil filter, pull it up, take off the old oil filter from the um, filter tube, which you'll see when I pull it out. And then we're going to put in our new filter, lube up the gasket with a little bit of oil to make sure it's got a good fit and seal. And of course, while we're doing that, we're also going to put a pan under the car and uh, drain out the oil. This particular model takes about six quarts of oil. The 300D model takes a little bit more. And if you have a later model, 300SD, with the six cylinder engine, that's going to take even, uh, I'd say that one takes about nine quarts. The 300D model takes about, trying to think, about seven and a half quarts or so. So, let me uh, get this thing. I have the car up on ramps. Just got to get the pan out, get it cleaned up, and go underneath here. W40. This is pretty much the standard for diesel engines. Now this is very important when you buy oil here. for this engine. So if you're down there, add in a quarter or so to bring it up to the top here. On the 300D turbo diesel, I know that between the low end of that range and the high end, it takes two quarts of oil. On a smaller 190D, you're talking about a quart, a quart and a half. And on the 300 SD six Pretty cylinder I found do it. That concludes it. And uh, good luck when you do the oil change on your car. It shouldn't be a problem. And if you do it like I did and you're careful about it, your car will last you a lot longer than taking it to one of those lube places where the guys don't even care about the quality of job they're doing. Alright, take care.